Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and we have another question or request from our Facebook friend and his name is Teen Lee. He said, can you show some models of tree in the Lux Evo, please? Thank you so much. Okay, so if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any tutorials like this one again. Okay, so Teen Lee, this is very easy. Teen Lee uh, commented on this picture in this uh, Facebook picture that I just posted. So this is from this uh, project. And you can see there are some trees here. Yeah, this is a palm tree. Oops. Yep, it's a palm tree. It's a cute palm tree. And there's another one here from this project. It's a, another palm tree, but it's different from the previous one that I just showed you. Okay, so Tinley, where did I get these palm trees? It's easy. Just go to www.3dwarehouse.com. So just type 3D Warehouse sketchup.com and then from there you can search a lot of trees that you want okay let's go and type for example tree or say 3d tree make sure it's 3d tree because some trees here are 2d only it looks like 3d but it's it's 2d sometimes so for example here yeah i have so many trees here and uh yeah if you like this one from famid like this tree just go and check it says 1015 kb it's fine if it's like this but it should not be more than 1 mb um, i prefer to, to have that one because uh, if you put a lot of tree like this one your dialogs ebo file will become heavier and the calculation time will become slower so go, let's go and check this one okay this one is 1 mb how about this one okay it's oh see this one is doesn't have leaves but it's 3 mb okay so let's just go and check this one this uh first picture that we check if you want to know if it's really a 3d to double check just press this one and then rotate it okay so while it's loading i will show you that it has 2017 18 and 19 model right now i have only 2016 version sketchup so i cannot open it in my um sketchup software but i have what we call pecan planner so if you want to check that one type pecan planner and then download it it's a it's a free software like dialogue so go and download uh, install it in your pc so you can use this uh, 3d files that we're going to uh, download later okay so my sketchup file still not yeah okay now so you can see it's yeah perfect it's really a 3d file so let's go now and download it so sketchup 2017 and i'll save it in my desktop say 308 now it's loading so make sure you download this pecan planner because this is what we're going to use to convert this sketchup file into 3ds file because dialogs evo can only accept 3ds file so I'll go now and my desktop and I will open my Picon Planner. So this is the Picon Planner uh, window. Let me check if the downloading is fine. Yeah, it's okay here. So I'll go check in my folder. So it should be in my desktop. Yes, it's here. So let's go now and check in my Picon Planner. Okay, so my Picon Planner now is open. So I'll go to the file. I will not download the latest one fine okay go and import let's import the 3d file that we just download go to the desktop and select this tree and then open and then you will go to the meter and say it's uh it's let's just go and say 2.28 meters just select one make it meter and then everything will be followed and then click on the middle and then another one here and then go to this view and then zoom all extent and you can see here in this tab go and check in orbit so you will see if it's clear because sometimes on the side of this tree there are people or benches you don't need those uh, objects so if there is something beside this tree just remove it and then just in, uh, um, export this one as a 3ds file so how to export go to the file and then export tab and then geometry 
and then select the default is dwg but we're going to use the 3ds file so just select that 3ds and then label this one as 3 and then save and then just select the low and then export and now it's been exported let's go to the desktop and see if it's there yeah you can see this one is from the pecan planner and these are the textures from this um, 3ds file or sketchup file so let's go now to our um, Evo file and let's see how it looks when we import it in our uh, software. So go to the file and then import and then 3ds file and then let's select that tree that we just created. So go to the desktop and then select the tree and then open. So okay it's loading now. Okay so I think it's here but I cannot find it. Where's my beautiful tree? Okay, so it's yes, I will say invalid. And then, okay, so the dimension of the scene has increased, okay, due to the last action. Okay, just select this one. And then zoom extent to find out the tree. So it seems the tree is here, ins inserted somewhere. So go to the plan view, zoom extent, and then move this tree in the middle of our um, ground line. Okay, if, it's, if the tree is too small, then you can just edit it and make it a little bigger. Alright, I think this is my lovely tree. And let's close this one for a while. And if you don't like the size of your tree, you can of course scale it. So just select that one and then make this one say um, 7 meters high tree. And this one is... 3 by 3 for example and let's see how it looks so make sure it's proportion okay this is too much so let's make it 4 and then 4 yep it looks fine now all right let's just make it 6 meters height all right and then if you want to use the same texture that we just uh, get from our SketchUp just go to your texture and then create texture material then select this trunk tree trunk then open and then apply it here so the texture of your tree will be the same as before and see how it looks now look at this our tree looks good yep and if you want to also take the texture of your leaves which I think is fine right now but some are not okay so let's go and select some materials here and let's select a green for example let's have a pale pale green here and then okay because it's a heavy file that's why it looks like this so it takes time for the dialogs evo to insert all the textures on the leaves because there are so many leaves here right now Alright, so I changed the color of the leaves but doesn't look good. But all the colors are at least green compared to the previous one. So if you want the real leaves again, you can just insert the texture of the leaves and then um, save it here also in your dialogs. So that's how you do it. I hope, uh, what's his name again? Teen Lee, I hope you learned something from this tutorial today. And if you want to learn more, about landscape lighting design go and visit www.udemy.com i have a course for landscape lighting design techniques and i'm so also writing an ebook about uh, landscape lighting design techniques so go to www.enrocolightingdesign.com slash shop and you will find my ebook there about landscape lighting design okay so thank you very much and see you again on the next video Bye.